It's Monday afternoon and I just got home for a hike, as I have a tendency to do. I go hiking a lot. So if you've, um, I don't know who I'm talking to, but if, you, if you're wondering why I'm wearing the same clothes as in the hiking video that I just uploaded, the hike from today, that's why. Because I just got home from a hike and uh, I received this package while I was out hiking today. My neighbor signed for it. Um, how many times have I said that unboxing videos are the stupidest trend on the internet or on the YouTube machine, uh, along with reaction videos? Yet I still do them. I think I've only said it twice because I've done two unboxing. I'm gonna do another one today. The reason I wanna do this one today uh, is because of, and I was, I was talking about this product today with my hiking friend, Eric. I know I'm, I'm, there's maybe a crossover audience here. Nobody watches my hiking videos. I don't know who's gonna watch this, but um, my hiking videos generally don't reach the same people as my music-related videos. Whatever, I'm, I'm already, this is way too long already. So this is, this is from a company, as you can see, called Bordies. This is a, a British company. They're from, or they're in, um, somewhere, somewhere in England, Essex, I want to say Essex, Sussex, Exeter, something with an EX in it. And, uh, about a week ago, last week sometime, I saw, I'm a big Iron Maiden fan. Nobody knows that who's watching this. And, um, I, I follow an Iron Maiden page on, on Facebook and they, uh, they post a lot of Iron Maiden related stuff. Isn't that something? And last week they posted, uh, that this company, Bordies, was selling Iron Maiden board shorts, which is, I guess, the modern thing that people call, uh, what old people call swim trunks or bathing suits, board shorts. And they had these Iron Maiden, uh, they were called Ed Heads uh, board shorts, swim trunks, bathing suit, whatever you want to call it. And they looked very cool. And they said they ship worldwide. I thought, I'm an Iron Maiden fan. I've been an Iron Maiden fan for 30 years, I get 40 years, 40 years. I got my first Iron Maiden helmet in 1982, 40 years ago. Number of the Beast, of course. And I thought, I also like swimming. And I'm going to the beach uh, in October, still a while away. Why don't I buy another uh, set of board shorts or swim trunks or another bathing suit? So I went uh, to order it. And they're, they're called Ed Heads. I don't know if I mentioned that because they have Eddie's face from many, I don't know if it's all the different albums. Um, or some different albums, it's Eddie's face all over the, the, we'll call them board shorts. And I thought, I wanna get those. So I got those and it said they ship worldwide and I, I put my country in Mexico from the drop down menu and which brought up, you know, the, all the fields from Mexico, the state and the, the postal code and everything. And when I did it, uh, it didn't work. It said, we cannot ship to your address, which was strange. So I sent uh, them an email and I told them what happened. I sent a screenshot. I'm making this really long. And I said, hey, I, I want to order these uh, board shorts and your site, it's not working. I put in my, my uh, shipping address and it said they can't, you can't deliver there. Immediately, I think it was in less than 10 minutes, uh, I got a, um, an email back saying, oh, that they said, oh, that's strange. I don't know why that's happening. They asked me, the guy, his name was Nick. It turns out he's the, the founder and I guess the owner of Bordy's, this, this store. And uh, he said, uh, he said, I don't know why that's happening. That's very strange. He asked me if I was, if I was using the, the British, the dot, the dot co dot uk site or the, the dot com site. I said, uh, the British. And he said, I don't know, maybe I tried dot com, but they weren't available on there. They were, they were sold out. So I thought, oh, what am I going to do? So uh, he, he told me, he said, uh, first of all, it was amazing. And this is what I was talking about with Eric today. Because we were talking about customer service. Eric is, uh, is taking a trip this week, a uh, very long trip. The hiking videos are going to be uh, postponed for about a month and a half while Eric's away. And Eric was having trouble with, uh, with his flights and uh, his, his connections and things like that. And he said he couldn't talk to anybody at airlines. So I told him this story about that, the, that you can never talk to anybody on the phone or even you know by email. Everything is all bots these days. The customer service really, it's a thing of the past. It really doesn't exist. God, this is long. So first I was, I was impressed that I got a, a quick reply and even more impressed that it was a human reply and from, from this guy, Nick, the owner of the company. So he said, I, I wanna get you these shorts. Um, 
he, he said if you want, you can, um, you, you can PayPal the money directly to his personal account instead of going through the site. So I said yes. He even threw in uh, free shipping, which was very, very nice because it's very expensive for me. To get anything outside of Mexico is tremendously expensive. Mexico is a, a pretty cheap place, the cost of living. So to buy, uh, to buy things from, that are coming from outside of Mexico, including shipping, is almost prohibitively expensive. Uh, this was on Wednesday, maybe last week. So after a few emails back and forth, I sent him the money personally to his PayPal. Um, and then I got a notification the next day that the, my shipment was, was on the way. All the way from the UK, Essex, Sussex, Exeter, Sex, I don't know what the name of the town is, city. And um, so they, it came today while I was out. So, and my cat is sitting on the shorts, on the board. Uh, on the box. So uh, it comes in this, uh, so my neighbor, she saw me come home and uh, she she gave me this very nice packaging, very pro. It's obviously a pizza box, but instead of a, a pizza place, it has boardies. Isn't that interesting? And so I'm gonna open it now. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this, isn't it the most boring thing to watch somebody take take a box and open it and then show you the contents of the box? That's pretty boring. But I want to do it to support this, uh, I guess it's a small, relatively small, I guess, local uh, company. I don't know why they're selling swim shorts in London or board shorts. I decided to kind of call them board shorts. I don't know if you can swim anywhere in that, in that country, in, uh, in England. I mean, they're, they're, they're surrounded by ocean, but, you know, I don't even know if there's any swimming pools in that whole country. Yet, they do sell board shorts. So uh, I'm, I'm going to open this now. And I'm doing this, I want to give them some publicity. They, they deserve some publicity. So for the 18 people that watch this, if you're in the market for, for board shorts, uh, get them from boardies. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this now. This is the really exciting part, as if hearing me speak wasn't exciting enough. Now you're gonna watch me Cutting, cutting the, the tape of this box. Okay, is it open? All right, it is. Let me put that little knife away. You ready for the pizza? Oh, very nice packaging. Look at this, look at this. Uh, first of all, what the hell is this? Oh, look at this crazy pen. It has their... Uh, I don't know if the, if the camera can pick that up because it's very small. It has their logo, the Bordy's logo. It's probably, I don't know if that's focusing or not. And it has some, uh, some crazy bendy something. Nice, nice little touch, a little pen. Off to a good start. Whoops, it just fell on the floor. Uh, this is good for uh, cash in this coupon and redeem against your next Bordy's purchase. There's 10, 10 pounds. I don't think I'll get another one, but I have that. Uh, here's a return form, which, ooh, they look nice. Hopefully I, I won't need to, uh, to use return form. Uh, now they've got this, this nice, um, I don't know what you call this, this uh, wrapping paper, packing, I don't know, it's very nice. It's got the, the logo all over it. You can, you can see it there. Very professional, very nice. Oh, now look at this. Look at this nice packaging with this opaque bag. So I can see the shorts through there. Very nice. This is, oh, my cat is chewing this pen. Let me put that up there. Um, very nice. Uh, it, oh, there's a warning. To avoid danger of suffocation, keep this wrapper away from babies and children. And then they also have it in German and French and Italian and... Looks maybe Dutch. I think it's Dutch. So a lot of warnings there. So I'm gonna open this uh, the Bordies packet there. Now it is uh, they got the size right. I'm a medium. I'm a little fella. And uh, oh, I almost don't want to open this. It's such, such nice packaging. More excitement. Opening a bag. Oh, they look very, very nice. Look at this. Look at this. More of this uh, tissue paper. 
Beautiful. Look at those. They, these look like they'll they'll be the right size. They're short. Now maybe these are not board shorts. I think board shorts are longer. No, don't board shorts uh, go down to the knee or around. These are shorter, which that's fine. Um, not quite a speedo. Um, and look at this. Let's see. Let's look at all the Iron Maiden logos I can find. So we've got the uh, Iron Maiden logo there. Look at this. Bordies. They got the the Bordies logo in the Iron Maiden font. That's a nice touch. I like that. Let's look at the shorts themselves. What do I see here? I see Book of Souls, Peace of Mind, Number of the Beast, Legacy of the Beast, Power Slave, Seventh Son of the Seventh Son, Ace is High. Uh, anything else? Did I get them all? Oh, there's two Power Slave. One is the Power Slave and one is the World Slavery Tour, Eddie Wrapped in the Mummy. Um, Fear of the Dark, I see. Final Frontier. Um, very cool. I, I think I got them all. Oh, I like it a lot. Very, very nice shorts. Look at those. Beautiful. Um, drawstring waist. I like these, um, these expandable waists. waists. I, I've got some, some board shorts that are just, uh, it's a string. I, I like these. They have a little bit more flexibility. Uh, and here's the, uh, the, the Bordies, uh, oh sorry, ah, Bordies and Iron Maiden. And look at that, even the M for medium is in the Iron Maiden font. Uh, and it's got a, a back pocket here with a Velcro um, closure and side pockets. Never put anything in your pockets, in the pockets of your, if you're going swimming, don't put things. I, I did that once, uh, a friend of mine, she gave me her phone, she was swimming in a river and she wanted me to take some pictures of her. She gave me her iPhone. Ha. And uh, I took some pictures of her, put, the, uh, put her iPhone in the, the pocket of my uh, uh, bathing suit, board shorts, walked for a couple minutes, forgot that I'd put her iPhone in my pocket and I dove into the river. So don't, don't you, because you, you forget things. So don't, don't put them. They shouldn't even have shorts. It's dangerous. Pockets, I mean. Um, so there we go. Very, very nice. I'm sorry to disappoint, but I'm not going to try them on. I'm not going to model uh, these shorts. Sorry, sorry for the tease, and sorry if you're expecting that, but that's not going to happen. Maybe when I wear these, uh, when I go swimming next time, you can see them that way, how they look on me. But I like these shorts a lot. I'm very happy with them. And more than anything, I'm very, very happy with their service. So to, uh, to, uh, to Nick from Bordy's and... Their, let's say their whole staff. I know people like to you know, make a big production of things. I don't know how many staff Nick has, but what a, what a top-notch company. They uh, Great service, great products. Everything all around was great. So, hey, there you go. That was my unboxing of these Iron Maiden board shorts from Bordies from someplace in England. Yes!